I want to speak to you about what Jesus said in John chapter 12, verse 24 and verse 25. It reads, Verily, verily, I say unto, unto you, except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abideth alone. But if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. He that loveth his life shall lose it, and he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto life eternal. Jesus is teaching us a very important concept here. He tells us that, you know, when you have a corn or a, shall I say a maize seed, it abides by itself. It will stay there until somebody eats it or it's taken by a bird. That's the end of it. It doesn't have any benefit beyond that point. But if it dies, like if you take a corn, a seed like that, you take it into the ground and it dies, then it brings up a green plant, which will bring up corpse, maybe two or three. And each one of those corpse will have rows of seeds, many, many of them. Each one of those is similar to the one you put underground. What an investment. There's no investment that can give you a return like that. It shows us that when we die, that's when we gain a lot more. We practice that every day, by the way. Parents often self-sacrifice so that their children would have a future. But those who are selfish and keep things to themselves, they never amount to anything and they're never a blessing to anyone. Now, God wants us to be a blessing as the children of the Lord, to practice self-denial and self-sacrifice, and through that, to be able to be a blessing to the world. Jesus says, continues to say in verse 25, He that loveth his life shall lose it, and he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto life eternal. The choice is yours. Which one would you rather do? If you are selfish, you're keeping everything, you might have lots of things. But when you die, that's the end of it. But when you give it to Christ, he says he will give it to you back unto life eternal. He's not saying to us something that he did not, did not experience. Jesus died. And through his death, we have life. Just like a seed that dies and releases the other seeds into existence. So that the other seeds were never there. They would, they would never have seen the light of the day had not that one seed died and released them into existence and brought them into existence. We also, had it not been because of the life of Christ and his death for us on the cross, we would not see the light of the day. Jesus tells us something here, very important for us and for all of us to learn from that when we sacrifice, we actually bring life. When we love our lives so much that we will lose it. But when we hate our lives, we sacrifice, we, we deny ourselves, we will get life back and life eternal. May God bless you to make the right decision.